Hello and welcome to today's Halloween edition of Popular News Stories. I'm Vivian Gilbert. The last days before the 2020 election have been crucial as former Vice President Joe Biden went to different states this week to encourage voters amongst his presidential campaign. Biden held drive-in voting rallies on Tuesday in Georgia and Thursday in Florida to speak about what he will do as president and the importance of voting, especially in this year's election. According to the South Florida Sun Sentinel, on Wednesday morning, the Trump campaign said that the president, current president Donald Trump would also appear in Florida on Thursday. Trump held a rally on Thursday in Tampa, Florida and in Fayetteville, North Carolina later in the day. Former President Barack Obama has also got into some of the rally action. On Tuesday, Obama was part of a drive-in rally in Orlando, Florida to support the Biden-Harris campaign. And according to the Orlando Sentinel, the former president lashed out, quote-unquote, at Trump on Tuesday during the Orlando rally as he, quote-unquote, urged state voters to turn out like never before to put Joe Biden in the White House. The last presidential debate was last Thursday. Former Vice President and Democratic nominee Joe Biden and current President Donald Trump once again were to talk about issues facing the country and what they will do as president to solve them. In this final debate, microphones were shut off after two minutes to control the candidates trying to talk over each other. According to CNN, a CNN instant poll of debate watchers found that 53% of the watchers thought that Biden won the final presidential debate. Meanwhile, 39% said Trump emerged a winner. CNN also reported, however, that the quote-unquote debate did not do much to change any candidate's preferences, with Biden having quote-unquote 55% favorable voting that inched up to 56% after the debate and Trump having quote-unquote 42% favorable voting that dropped to 41% after the debate. The debate was in Nashville, Tennessee, according to Vox.com. A North Carolina man was arrested last Thursday after having plans to assassinate former Vice President Joe Biden. According to WWLP News 22, a North Carolina man who was indicted in late September on child pornography charges had plans to assassinate Democrat presidential candidate Joe Biden and also, quote, commit a mass shooting during the holidays and even wanted to crash a plane, according to court documents. This man was identified as 19-year-old Alexander Hill L. Tresman, who, as WWLP also reported, is also known as Alexander S. Theus. According to The Hill, Tresman's social media accounts and devices had images of various fixed arms he owned as plans to commit a mass shooting on Christmas or Black Friday and an authority learned that he had purchased an AR-15 in New Hampshire and traveled to a Wendy's within four miles of Biden's home. Hurricane Zeta is making its mark in Louisiana all the way up to the state of Virginia. According to the Weather Channel, Zeta has made landfall in Louisiana as well as storm surge. Damaging winds and heavy rainfall will impact the northern Gulf Coast, and strong winds and heavy rainfall will spread far inland through the south and east. According to AccuWeather, Zeta was at its strongest as it reached the coastline as a Category 2 hurricane with maximum sustained winds of 110 miles per hour. This was just one mile per hour shy of being a category three storm, which is the benchmark for being considered a major hurricane. 
The Los Angeles Dodgers are the victors of the 2020 World Series and MLB season. The Dodgers led a 4-2, according to Google Sports, out of six games against the Tampa Bay Rays. According to ESPN, the Dodgers' third baseman, Justin Turner, however, reportedly tested positive for COVID-19 and was asked to isolate, quote-unquote. Though, as ESPN also reported, he strode onto the film where his teammates were celebrating their 3-1 to one victory over the Rays in Game 6 and joined. This is the Dodgers' first MLB win of the World Series since 1988 after going to the World Series four times. Charlie Brown, the Great Pumpkin, did not air on network television for the 2020 season. According to the Washington Post, for the first time since its 1966 debut, it's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, will not air on network television. The Washington Post also reported that the cause is from Apple TV Plus has swooped up and got the rights to the Peanuts holiday specials. According to popculture.com, a petition is being signed at change.org that has governed almost 120,000 signatures as of its press time, which was on October 27th. A new update in the George Ford case where a Minneapolis judge has dismissed the third degree murder charge against Derek Chauvin, one of the four former police officers facing criminal charges in the May killing of George Floyd. NPR also reported that the dismissal will be stayed for five days to allow state prosecutors to consider a free trial appeal according to court documents. The other three officers charged with killing Floyd did not get dismissed. The team where the team who recorded Floyd's death 17-year-old Darnella Frazier is being honored with a PN Pen slash Benson Courage Award, which PN Pen America announced Tuesday, as it was reported by TMZ. Rapper Nicki Minaj and husband Kenneth Petty did not have a girl. They have a son. The news was reported last week when Minaj celebrated her first marriage anniversary with Kenneth Petty Wednesday, October 21st, by posting the first picture of their baby boy on Instagram, according to Billboard. Amy Coney Barrett has been sworn in as the new Supreme Court Justice. According to CNN, state Republicans voted to confirm President Donald Trump's Supreme Court nominee, Judge Barrett, on Monday, a major victory for the president and his party just days before the November 3rd election that could push the high court in a more conservative direction for generations to come. The vote was 52 to 48. That was some of this week's popular news stories. I'm Vivian Gilbert and I'll see you next time.